So I finally received my Cyberpunk 2077 on the PS4. Wait a second. So I finally received my Cyberpunk 2077. So I finally received my Cyberpunk 2077 in the mail. I guess the uh, delivery trucks were crashing. And even though there's probably so many unboxing videos of this, I don't care, I'm doing my own. So unfortunately I got mine's a little bit crushed. You can see here, there's a little dent up here and you can tell that it has been crushed a little bit on top. And you can hear a uh, loose piece of broken plastic on the inside. Oh, so this sticker I just peeled off, it basically says you'll get a free PS5 upgrade as long as you have the disc version of the PS5. So here we have, I believe, the first PS4 game that requires two discs. And here on the back it says, Night City changes everybody. Come on down to the Night City, where the people are robots and everyone's crazy. Cyberpunk. 2077 is an open world action adventure story set in Night City, a megapolis obsessed with power, glamour, and body modification. You play as V, a mercenary outlaw going after a one of a kind implant that is the key to immortality. So I'm assuming this must be like a special day one release that comes with a world compendium, stickers, postcards, a game map, and digital access. And it includes over 200 glitches. So let's get this Cyberpunk 2077 sleeve. Cyberpunk 2077 game case and the Cyberpunk 2077 goodies here ooh cyberpunk 2077 let's check out the cyberpunk 2077 game case first here we have the same cyberpunk 2077 night city changes same thing shown on the cyberpunk 2077 sleeve and here's the cyberpunk 2077 spine so let's open up the cyberpunk 2077 case and we have a cyberpunk 2077 loose disc with a loose Cyberpunk 2077 piece of plastic here. So this is a unique PS4 case to hold two discs and I had both of my plastic hinges break off. Even this game case can't handle the epicness that is Cyberpunk 2077. So here we have a welcome to Night City. Things are bad for the most part. Oh, I guess they're explaining how the game's gonna run. The game is complicated at best. Definitely your experience will get a hell of a lot more interesting for you. Looks like a little word from the developers. Here we have stickers. Ooh, this is a nice like texturized sticker sheet. It's like the matte finish of the PS4 Pro system. So we have two stickers of the gang emblem, a Night City emblem, and Cyberpunk 2077 logos. And then here we have more Cyberpunk 2077 advertisements. Are you hungry for more Cyberpunk 2077? Definitely. Order some Cyberpunk. Is that even Cyberpunk or is that Witcher stuff? Okay, so here we have insert play disc second. So this is disc 2, which is the data disc. Insert the data disc first. And then it looks like we have a image on the back of the sleeve. It's for the female. So the female Cyberpunk 2077 cover. That's pretty cool. So you have two options. I'm not going to lie. Part of me wants to get a second copy of this game. Probably a few years from now when it's super cheap. I'm just going to digitally duplicate the image here so you can see both covers. I find it funny when games use the main character as the cover art when it's a game where you create your own character so like no one's gonna have a main character that actually looks like this. You're gonna end up playing this whole game as a character that looks totally punked out, totally clowned out. Yeah so unfortunately I'm gonna have a loose second disc here on the inside unless I can get some cyberpunk 2077 glue to little piece of cyberpunk in my cyberpunk case. 
So I gave my game case a uh, Cyberpunk 2077 implant upgrade here. <laughs> so now the disc doesn't rattle all loose. Oh yeah. Cyberpunk 2077 robotic upgrade complete. And for our first Cyberpunk 2077 goodie, we have a postcard here. So here's a little Cyberpunk 2077 sleeve or postcard holder is very difficult to slide off okay so we have three postcards here we have El Coyote Kojo I'm assuming this is some sort of bar or, or club in the game it's not just any pool it's a digital cyberpunk 2077 futuristic pool game and then on the back we just have a regular postcard it says the NC post office Made in Night City, that's pretty cool detail. And it has like dirt stains all, all over it. So here we have Japan Town, Cyberpunk 2077 Asia Town. And again, the same back of the postcard, except it has Japanese characters on the back here. And here we have greetings from Pacifica. Honestly, this, this, this gives me like GTA 5 vibes here, but it's obviously Cyberpunk GTA vibes. I'm actually surprised, they, they have a slightly different layout on the back. We actually have a Pacifica logo there and a different image for the stamp. Three different postcards, and a little postcard holder here has NC for I'm assuming Night City. And here we have a uh, an HBO Cyberpunk ad. Look at that, the code contains Cyberpunk, what? So this is for HBO Max. I, I am probably not gonna use this, like, at all. Just in case I decide to use it, I'm, I'm gonna keep the code to myself. Apparently, by purchasing a cyberpunk video game, you have some sort of deal with HBO. Then here we have a Night City map. Nice. Surprisingly, it's a uh, black and white map. So here we have Watson, City Center, Westbrook, Haywood, Santo Domenico, Pacifica, it doesn't really look that big, but I'm pretty sure these areas are very dense. Probably is gonna be huge. If you can actually run around through all these mountains, yeah, then definitely the game is huge. What the map looks like on the back, it's just blank, but it has a logo, Night City, the City of Dreams. So I just got a crazy idea, and here I have a black light, and I'm just shining it to see if there's any secret messages on here. They did this with the, the Grand Theft Auto 5 map, but it looks like there's nothing secret here. Shining it on the actual map, I don't really see anything. Yeah, no, there's uh, there's nothing secret. I'm gonna show you guys something I discovered. There's a secret message on the top here that only appears with a UV light. And it says, many languages, one message. Thank you by CD Project Red and Xbox. So you can see here under light, you literally, there's nothing there. You cannot see it. Or a black light, ah, oh, there we go. Secrets, secrets. Okay, and lastly in our Cyberpunk 2077, Cyberpunk 2077 World Compendium. So there's nothing on the back of the book. Let's go through here. This is essentially the history so it talks about the past, story of the city, history of violence, the corporate wars, the aftermath. I'll bring some close-ups here in case you want to read it yourself. Then we have reconstruction and unification. And then now we have story of the recent years from 2070 to 2077. And then we now have the present day where you start to play. This is actually really cool. If you're a story nerd, then you can, what? Brain dances and sex. So yeah, if you're a story nerd, then you can get a lot more detail on the history and lore of cyberpunk. Westbrook. I'm definitely gonna be reading through this. Just not right now. You don't wanna sit and watch me read this for an hour and a half. Who the fuck are you anyway, Samurai? Uh, P.S. This uh, game's rated M for Mature 7. Friend or foe? Fixers and Nomads. 
here we have the gangs. There's always gangs. Can't have a functional city without gangs. Street stories and street cred. Gameplay. Did they mention anything about game crashes. Weapons. Power smart and tech weapons. Implants. Items, vehicles, the rock and Johnny Silverhand, future, and credits for for this book. Cool. So instead of just getting a game case with the two discs, CD Projekt Red decided to add in some extra fun goodies in here, which. I approve of and appreciate. I always love extra little things to add to my game collection. So the only thing left to do now is to pop these babies in. <laughs> <laughs>